Namaste. Aryabhat was the author of the Aryabhatiya and the Aryabhat Siddhanta. Aryabhat explicitly mentioned that the earth rotates about its axis thereby causing what appears to be an apparent westward motion of the stars. Aryabhat also mentioned that reflected sunlight is the cause behind the shining of the moon. There are 121 shlokas in Aryabhatiya Starting with the introduction, the work is fragmented into various sections. Giti Kapat, Ganit, that is mathematics, Kalakriya, that is time measurement, and Gola, that is sphere or cosmic sphere. Aryabhatiya's writing style is very compact. The shloka in which he cites his birth simply states that he was 23 years aged in the 3600th year of Kali Yuga and we know that Aryabhat was born in 476 AD and died in 550 AD. This shloka also suggests that Aryabhat might have been just 23 or 24 years when he composed the most distinguished work Aryabhatiya. In his works, Aryabhat has mentioned himself as Kulup, which indicates that he might have been the Kulpati, meaning Vice Chancellor of the Nalanda University, where he is also known to be heading the astronomical observatory. Aryabhat mentions that he was born in Kusumpur, which means city of flowers, which his commentator Bhaskar I identifies with Patliputra in Bihar or modern Patna in Bihar. Alperuni in his travelogues mentions Aryabhat of Kusumpur many times. In those days, it was a common belief that the earth was the center of universe. This concept is known as geocentrism. Aryabhat introduced the concept of heliocentrism where sun is the center of universe. The number of rotations of the Earth as well as the number of planetary movements of Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Venus and Mercury in the Mahayuga is stated in one shloka. It may be interesting to mention that in this shloka, Aryabhat states the number of rotations of the Earth around its axis in the Mahayuga which indicates that he was informed of the reality that the earth was rotating around its axis. He also stated that the moon and planets shine by reflected sunlight. He was the first person to say that the earth is spherical and it revolves around the sun and that's how what Copernicus told in 15th century, Aryabhat already knew 1000 years before him. Instead of the prevailing cosmology, where eclipses were believed to be caused by pseudo-planetary node Rahu and Ketu, he explained eclipses in terms of shadows cast by Earth. It is incredible how Aryabhat could explain both lunar and solar eclipses. He gave the formula to calculate when the eclipses will happen and how long they are going to stay. There is another attraction in this shloka, whereas so far the custom has been to imagine varying lengths of Satyuk, Treta Yuga, Dwapar Yuga and Kal Yuga in Mahayuga. Aryabhat suggests that these lengths are the same and that in the current Mahayuga, three Yugpads, Satyuk, Treta Yuga and Dwapar Yuga have come and gone and the fourth Yugpad namely Kalyug has already started. It is also indicated that the Mahayug year, month and days in a month begins with Shukla Paksh of the Chaitra Mas which is now celebrated as Hindu New Year. Aryabhatiya gives details about the relationship between Rashi, Ansh, Kal, the vastness and size of sky, the rotational velocity of the sun, moon, and earth. The connection between angul that is finger, hat that is hand and purush that is person. The diameters of the earth, sun, moon and planets, the retrograde and forward motion of the celestial bodies 
and their extreme locations in the sky. He also calculated the circumference of the earth. According to him, the circumference of the earth is 39,968.05 kilometers, which is just 0.2 less than today's calculation of 40,075.01 kilometers. Aryabhat gave the height of atmosphere up to 80 kilometers. Actually, the height of atmosphere is more than 1600 kilometers but 99% of it lies up to 80 kilometers only. Aryabhat gave the information on distance between sun and other planets and astonishingly, it is almost same as today's calculation. The distance between sun and earth is approximately 15 crore kilometers which is known as one astronomical unit. Let's see how accurately Aryabhat calculated. Mercury. Aryabhat's calculation was 0.375 astronomical unit and today's calculation is 0.387 astronomical unit. Venus. Aryabhat's calculation was 0.725 astronomical units and today's calculation is 0.723 astronomical unit. Mars. Aryabhat's calculation was 1.538 astronomical units and today's calculation is 1.523 astronomical units. Jupiter. Aryabhat's calculation was 4.16 astronomical units and today's calculation is 4.20 astronomical units. Saturn. Aryabhat's calculation was 9.41 astronomical units, whereas today's calculation is 9.54 astronomical units. Aryabhat told that the length of a day is 23 hours, 56 minutes and 0.041 seconds, which is just 0.86 seconds different from today's calculations. Before him, many Greek and Indian historians gave the length of a day, but it was not as accurate as of Aryabhat. In Aryabhatya, the day was reckoned from one sunrise to the next, whereas in Aryabhat Siddhant, he took the day from one midnight to another. According to Aryabhat, the length of a year is 365.25868 days, which is almost equal to present calculation of 365.25636 days. Aribat calculated that moon takes 27.32167 days to go around the earth, which is almost equal to the present calculation of 27.32166 days. Do you think we are talking about an astronomer or a mathematician? Without an unmatched knowledge of mathematics, such astronomical calculations were impossible. In reality, he was the first scholar to include mathematics in a book on astronomy. Aribhat offers a huge amount of information on algebra, arithmetic, quadratic equations and trigonometry. He was essentially responsible for the birth of trigonometry, which the whole world is studying today. In fact, sine, cosine are transcriptions introduced by Aryabhat. Aryabhat called them Ja and Hosea. Aryabhat had devised an inventive way of writing numbers as symbols so that they could be integrated into the form of the verse. Many times, you might have heard that Aryabhat invented zero, but actually he started using zero as a symbol. The great Indian mathematician calculated the value of pi at 3.1416. It is certainly astonishing to think that one man was responsible for so many mathematical wonders and geographical facts which are a common piece of knowledge today. India's first satellite launched on April 19, 1975 
was named Aryabhat as a tribute to the man whose knowledge knew no bounds, just like the limitless space. In 1976, UNESCO celebrated 1500th anniversary of Aryabhat. An observatory has also been given the name Aryabhat as a tribute to this genius. Aryabhat, a man beyond his times, is certainly an Indian we always will be proud of. If you want to see more videos on the similar topics, please like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.